So, I'm going to put you guys on the spot real quick. Um, Mission Impossible is currently out in theaters, and with the success it's having, I decided to change it up a little bit as far as not the best Tom Cruise movie, but give me Tom Cruise's best decade of films. We're talking the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, and even 2010 all the way up to this year, all the way up to Rogue Nation. What is the best decade for Tom Cruise films? Okay, so this is incredibly hard. Yes. Um, because... <laughs> Each decade has at least two movies that I absolutely love. Mm-hmm. Like Top Gun, you have Rain Man, Born in the Fourth of July, Days of Thunder, uh, Jeremy Maguire. It's like all these movies. Uh, but looking through all that and looking through each movie in the decade and then going up and up and up, I can't help but look from 2010 on and look at the movies that he's put in mm-hmm. through the last couple of years, starting with Night and Day. Like I know it wasn't the best movie, but it was kind of fun. Like, oh, it's a really yeah. cool, fun movie to see him uh, him and Cameron Diaz go at it. Yes, it is. And then you go Mission Impossible Gross Protocol. Rock of Ages, which wasn't a bad movie, but he was kind of cool in it. He mm-hmm. had this really fun part. Uh, Jack Reacher, which I have a soft spot for. Um, I think the hand-to-hand action in that movie is just awesome. The kind of oh. darker character he plays. Yeah. Uh, Oblivion was... It was... Uh, not the best again it was like a, a decent to good movie but he's just awesome in it mm-hmm. um and then edge of tomorrow mission impossible and then there's movies that are announced which will hit by the end of 2020 with top gun 2 and jack reacher 2 it's like how can you not love what he's been doing the last so many years yeah but again it's so hard to choose because you go through the list it's like there are so many amazing movies on the list mm-hmm. um but if I had to choose one, I would say 2010 on, just because the modern day action stuff that he's been doing is just so awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's it's tough. It really is. Uh, you can't go wrong with either decade. What about you, Jacob? Well, I he kind of stole mine. I was gonna. I didn't think you guys, either of you, would go with the 2010s ons, and it wasn't an easy decision. Like I I finally concluded with that, but. I was arguing with myself either the 90s or the 2010s on. So just to go against his, I'm going to go with the 90s because there are some really good movies in here that I really like. Days um, of Thunder, man. I, before seeing Rogue Nation, I think the first Mission Impossible was my favorite Tom or favorite Mission Impossible movie. Mm-hmm. And it came out in 96. So you got that. And Jerry Maguire. I was late on the Jerry Maguire train. I didn't watch it till about five or six years ago. But wow, he's amazing in it. And <laughs> it's good. It's such a good movie too. Like, there's not many movies like that Cameron these days, Crow's man. Yes. It, it it disappoints me that because it it's it's kind of like a drama and a comedy in a way, and like it's so good. And one that you guys might not have seen was just called Eyes Wide Shut. Um, I'm a huge Nicole Kidman fan. She's probably my favorite actress of all time, and them together that movie was so creepy and weird and it's kind of like it messes with your mind a little bit and i'm all for those movies so when you consider mission impossible jerry Maguire, eyes wide shut a few good men um have you seen days of thunder a few good men i have not seen days of that's thunder. nicole kidman oh really yep oh i need to watch that i think that was the first See? movie together and i know they were they were that married or something wrong. or they were together for a while um yeah, well, I love the 2010s on because you look at Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, Jack Reacher, um, Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. So, and who knows what he's going to do for the next five years. Top Gun it's gonna 2, be crazy. Jack Reacher 2, Edge of Tomorrow but 2. When you consider yeah. those three movies, like I mentioned, especially Eyes Wide Shut, which is like a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the 90s. How about you, Gio? Do you have Good a choice. favorite decade? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go the 80s. I'm gonna be right in the middle of you two. I'm oh, gonna go with right. 2000s Tom Cruise. Nice. And it got off to a rocky start with uh, Mission Impossible Two. You know, it wasn't his fault. Um, you know, he was not the who directed with that. John Woo. Two. John Woo directed <laughs> that. Now I haven't seen Vanilla Sky. Really? But I heard good. I hear good things. Wow. About it. We yeah. gotta watch that, man. Yeah, we will. But then. 
his collaborations with Spielberg. Uh, first, Minority Report. You talk about a sci-fi action thriller. Man, One of the best ever. So good. Wow, love the story and just Tom Cruise was amazing in that. And then War of the Worlds too. You know, I mean, the ending was a little bit uh, for me, but overall, him, Dakota Fanning. You know, that was a good movie. I love it. And then in between those two, you have The Last Samurai, which was phenomenal. The storytelling, amazing. The cinematography, wow. And we talk about such a a story with like tragedy and heart. Like, wow. And then uh, Collateral, where he plays yeah. a villain. That like, That's one of his best uh-huh. performances. I think that's my all-time favorite Tom Cruise role. And most most of the film wow. takes place Didn't in Didn't Jamie uh, Foxx get nominated for that? Yeah. Some people yeah. say Tom Cruise should have gotten nominated for he that. He probably should have, but yeah. I yeah. think the year was stacked, yeah. as always. Mm-hmm. And, like, a, a good part of the film takes place in a taxi cab, and it's just him and Jamie Foxx going back and forth. And it's Oh, just, yeah. It's so awesome. intense. Yeah, and then uh, Mission Impossible 3, which is uh, pretty high on people's list. For, JJ, man. You know, mm-hmm. Yep, definitely did some uh, redemption for that franchise. Uh, Tropic Thunder, memorable role. What a great Les role. Les Grossman. Yeah. Yes. Where is the Les Grossman spinoff? That's movie? what people have been <laughs> yeah. saying for years now, dude. Where is it? Mm-hmm. That would be hilarious. And I haven't seen Valkyrie. It's good. It's pretty good. It, but it's not it's bad. Yeah. Ryan Singer directed that, right? Yeah. That's yeah, pretty, that's pretty that's interesting. good. It's very underrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it's the 2000s. But honestly, guys, like, look at Tom Cruise's filmography. Like, every decade, there's at least three. You can't go wrong three with either hits. of these decades, honestly. Yeah. He, hey, he's in the conversation for one of the best actors of all time, I think. There's no question. I, I think he's, he's no, in I'm with that you on discussion. That I'm with you. From the moment he started Risky Business on... I'm saying, he's like, chain, he's in the yeah. discussion for top 10, I think, for what he's done. And he's not done yet. Exactly. This guy has another 20 years in him, at least. And you, you look down the list, it's not just action. It's drama, a lot of action, Oscar nominations, blockbuster, box office success. Mm-hmm. The guy's done everything. Yes. So. so you guys let us know in the comments what's your favorite decade for Tom Cruise films. I know it's tough, but you can do it. Let us know your choice. All right, well, that's going to do it for Gio's open mic subject. Pretty lengthy, sorry. but No, it, that, was, good. Hey, it was, that good. was a great question, honestly. Yeah. And it, it went with, you know, his movie just came out, so it's relevant. Yeah. 